The terminals on this battery did not get protected last time it got installed for whatever reason, but we're gonna fix that right now. The general rule of thumb is to remove the negative terminal first and then the positive and install them in the reverse order. Positive first, then negative. If you haven't seen one of these before, this is just a battery terminal strap. This hole has a smaller diameter. That's intended to fit over the negative post. This hole has a larger diameter. It's intended to fit over the positive post. And when you pull up on it, it sort of grabs the posts and you can use it as a handle. It makes it much easier for removing and installing batteries. And we're gonna to tend to the battery first. So first I'm just gonna do some general cleaning on the top here. I like to start out first with a uh, brass brush. So a lot of the manufacturers will put a sticker with the month and date that the battery is manufactured, which is fantastic. But a lot of times that sticker will uh, wear off. So even the ones that do have a sticker, I like to use a white paint pen and make my own notation. Another thing you wanna do on batteries you've had for a while is check the water level. A good rule of thumb is that the water level should be about a half inch above the plates. And in my case, the plates are right at the top of the surface of the water. They might even be exposed just a little bit. So we need to add water to this. I always like to keep some distilled water in the shop. And then one way to check your fluid level is you can put a wooden stick down in there until it hits the plate and then bring it back up. Then you can read the depth of it. All right, that's good. All three chambers have roughly a half inch of water above each plate. And if you ever overfill any of the chambers, just get a turkey baster and suck out the excess. All right, now we're ready to use the battery cleaner on the posts. This stuff has some kind of acid in it and it will actually turn color uh, if there's corrosion present. And you don't want to go too crazy with this stuff. It doesn't take much to do the job. So I'm actually going to do this again. See, both of those look pretty good. So we'll wipe them down. We'll go with that. Next, you want to take your battery cleaner tool and just rough up the posts. So now the posts are nice and clean. We scraped them down to bare metal, but they're immediately susceptible to oxidation again, right? And corrosion. So one way to slow that process down is use some of this dielectric grease right on the posts. And you don't need a lot. You just want enough to cover the surface of the posts. So what we're doing is we're trying to create a barrier between the oxygen atmosphere and the bare metal posts. So the next thing I like to do is install these little felt donuts on each post. A lot of times these get left off in the process, but they do actually help. 
So each post on the battery is metal. So there is an inherent possibility of gaps where the plastic meets the metal underneath each post. And what can actually happen is the acid vapor from inside the battery can leak out ever so slightly around the base of these posts and add to the problem of corrosion. We're already trying to fight the uh, oxidation from the atmosphere, but now we've also got a second element that's making things worse, and that's the acid vapor. So by installing these little donuts, it sort of mitigates that problem just a little bit. Okay, so this battery is ready to be installed, but first we have to go tend to those battery terminals. Just gonna put a piece of wood here down so we don't get any acid or anything on our tractor. And we use the same battery cleaner stuff that we did for the battery posts. And remember, color indicates corrosion. I don't know if you can see on camera, but we've got a lot of reds and pinks right in here. Flip it over. Yeah, these are pretty dirty. All right, the inside is good and clean down to bare metal. And I want to hit the outside a second time with this cleaner just to make sure we've got all the bad stuff off of there. I also want to check the threads under the nuts. All right, let's do the other side. See all that red? Definitely want to be wearing gloves for this project. Still getting just a little bit of red on this, but just about got it. Now we're going to use some more of this dielectric silicone. We want to coat the inside of the terminal with this. And I'll show you what we do with the outside in just a minute. Before I connect the terminals, I'm going to add some more of this uh, dielectric silicone to the posts. When it came out of the tube, you know, the first time I did it, it was a little runny. Now it's more the consistency it should be. It's more like a grease. All right, so the battery terminals are now installed. We've got uh, dielectric silicone grease uh, on the posts and inside of the terminals. And here's what I do for the outside. NCP2 battery corrosion preventative and this stuff is also sort of like a grease a little runnier than a grease but still pretty thick so get some on the brush and then we're just going to coat the entire outside of the terminals all the metal parts and don't be shy on using this stuff really get it coated good <laughs> 